So there was a question on the community about uh, requirement management using Jira and Confluence. Now this question is really interesting and a lot of people want to know how to do this within Jira or maybe with the help of Confluence. Mm -hmm. Now let us say you're using Confluence for storing your requirements and that makes sense because requirements uh, can be really big like proper documents and you can do your discussion. Confluence is basically a tool for our, uh, for uh, online collaboration when it comes to let us say storing uh, uh, your requirements or it could be any type of content uh, when it comes to linking those uh, pages confluence pages to jira issues uh, you can definitely do that that is how jira and confluence works natively they can talk to each other really well and you do have uh, some ways to show this linking for example when you're in confluence you can uh, display the Jira issues, their, their, their actual status, or maybe you can create uh, reports uh, based on Jira issues and you can display them within Confluence. When you're looking at the Jira issue, you can display the uh, linked Confluence uh, page. So you have the link of that particular page. So you always have this uh, integration, but to, to improve the experience for the end users, uh, especially in case of uh, doing requirement management or uh, some kind of a way where you want to uh, do some traceability. For example, when you are uh, working on your uh, development task, maybe you are working on a story or it could be a bug or a defect. Maybe you want to know, maybe you want to trace back your, uh, uh, trace back to your original requirement. And you can do that within Jira when you follow those links. You can go from, let us say, subtask to the story. From story, you can go to Epic. From Epic, you can go to the uh, uh, page, link page in Confluence, and you can do more. You can have your own custom, uh, uh, I mean, not really custom, but you can always have like various links, various types of links uh, to create your own hierarchy. Now, the app that I wanted to recommend and mention is uh, Structure. Using Structure, you can uh, basically create your own hierarchy or maybe your own visualization of those uh, relationships between different uh, issues in Jira. But at the same time, there is a way to also bring in your requirements from Confluence on that structure board. So there is a there, there is an app called Structure Pages, and with the help of Structure Pages, you can basically display your pages, your your linked pages on the same structure board. So basically, the same structure board on uh, within your Jira instance can can show the linked Confluence page and the linked uh, and that can of course start from the requirement followed by of course the linked epics or initiatives or any issue type that you have and of course when you are looking at structure board it will also let you uh, not only view the page but also let you modify the page of course uh, you need to configure the, the app first but that is something that i wanted to mention because when you're looking at that particular board from the very bottom let us say if you're looking at a defect or a subtask or a bug you can go up you can always trace back to the issues or uh, different activities uh, uh, that are linked to it and you can actually go back to the actual document uh, and you can of course do that on the same view within just few seconds uh, so that is something that i wanted to mention and uh, and i think structure along with structure pages can be really beneficial in case you want to uh, do requirement management and uh, traceability so I hope you enjoyed watching today's video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.